It's my great pleasure to present David Kabila for the award of an honorary fellowship. David is the co-founder of the asset management company AQR. Established in 1998, AQR is one of the fastest growing companies in the sector and currently has around $200 billion under management. AQR is one of the great success stories of Wall Street in recent years. And the company provided the funding to establish the school's AQR Asset Management Institute a couple of years ago. Congratulations to you all for this graduation. Um, so, June 5th, 1987, I was graduating my business school back at Northwestern University. And I was sitting in a seat just like yours, of course, much smaller environment. And um, I was thinking about my sentimentality of graduating. But I was also thinking about the job I just took and all the anxiety and hope that I also had. I took a job with Goldman Sachs. And I wasn't sure it's what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure if it was the right fit. I wasn't sure where it was going to take me. Uh, and, and the worst thing was is the day that I walked over to the convocation, there was an industry magazine article I read that morning. And it was entitled, The End of Wall Street. So I was, I was thinking I was joining a sinking industry as well. And of course, it was wrong. But I just want to let you know that if any of you in your seat feel a sense of uncertainty, anxiety, totally OK. Just keep taking a step forward. And what I would ask you to think about, though, is your Wikipedia page. If you think about the different textures that will be written about you one day, there's your personal, there's your professional, there's your charitable. And again, you don't need to know what that is today, but think about it. And what I have for you today is three wishes that I hope come true for you. Um, and these, these are kind of good wishes, that they, they don't have to happen to you. You can actually make them happen. And um, the first is be curious. The second is take risk. And the third is be grateful. In, in terms of curiosity, we all know the technical skills you want to build. But when you go to work, make sure you engage with others, the people that work for you, beside you, your bosses. Be curious, ask questions of them. Learn from their experiences and their emotional reactions to those experiences. Seek mentors. Don't wait for mentors to come to you. And don't wait to be fed information. Be curious, because it's only in context of others can you know yourself and your comparative advantage, and it will help, help make better decisions going forward for you all. Second thing is risk taking. It's been a really demonized word over the last two years. But as all of you know, in Finance 101, with no risk, there is no return. And that is true emotionally, intellectually, and in your careers. If you're, taking, if you're not making enough mistakes, or you're not making any mistakes, you're not taking enough risk. And if you find yourself not learning or growing your knowledge and your skills, particularly early on in your career, you got to take risk to make a change. You know, take a foreign language, seek another credential, you know, get the CFA, perhaps switch divisions. But you got to keep growing and let your future success, whether it be financial or emotional, be sort of the residual to your own innovation and the excellence on the foundation of knowledge that you've built. And the final thing is be grateful. Um, if you think about it, you, you pick up a newspaper every day and you, you read about these internet moguls overnight creating an app and their overnight successes. Well, you don't hear about the thousands of failures, so it can create an anxiety. Most of you, and it's most likely, you'll have a multi-decade long career. So how you cannot sprint that marathon. So how do you nurture and be kind to yourself along the way? Gratitude. Take moments out and appreciate small moments of accomplishments. Like now, what an amazing accomplishment. I've seen a lot of great business schools, and what a special place you all have. And you guys should be so proud of yourself. And it, it's not bad karma. Love the moment. And actually, for those who are traveling for the next two months before you start your job, continue to love that moment. Um, you know, and for me, I'm so grateful uh, to the faculty and administration of the London Business School, uh, to Sir Andrew for his friendship, his kindness, his leadership, his wisdom, the judgment that he's brought to, to you all in this school. And I hope that I can contribute in some small way to the school's success going forward. And I hope you guys all remember, if you stay curious, um, you take risk, and you maintain that gratitude, 
when that well-curated Wikipedia page is all about you and you're successful, make sure you remember that great business schools are not created by great students, but great and engaged alumni. So stay connected and congratulations.